It's official. I am obsessed with this whole room. I'm Christina, and I recently purchased a home with my husband, Ryan, and our two little boys in Southern California. We love that we have a lot more space than we used to, and I even have a special room that gets to be sort of my own retreat. It has to be an occasional guest room, my office, and has space for my exercise bike. I'm not quite sure how to make this feel like one cohesive space. Richie, I need your help. I'm designer Richie Holmes Grant, and I believe that no space is too big or too small to be the perfect oasis. So I'm helping people transform rooms in their home that are in serious need of an upgrade, but they're going to have to put in the work. This is Home Upgrade. Hey, Christina. Hi, Richie. So I heard that you moved into a new place and you have a room that needs my help. Tell me all about it. I get to have a room that is mostly for me, but also for guests. I need it to be a room for my exercise bike, a room for my office stuff. Tell me what you have right now in the space. We have a very old twin-size pull-out couch. We also have all of my sort of office stuff and books, our exercise bike, and some random knickknacks. We had a closet in it, but we took it out when we were renovating just because it was such a big closet for a tiny room. Most of our house is pretty neutral, but I kind of want this room to feel more like me and feel a lot more bold. How bold are you really willing to go? I'm down to go as bold as you can go, Richie. What's your favorite color? Green. I love sort of all shades of it. You also added this element of the exercise bike. It's interesting that you bring up this challenge because it's one that a lot of people have faced over the past year. It kind of sticks out like a sore thumb right now. No worries, we will make it feel like it's a part of the space. How do you feel about DIY projects? I'm down to give everything a try. Are you ready to put in the work? I'm definitely ready to do whatever it takes to make it happen. Awesome. I can't wait to get started and show you what I come up with. Christina has this great bonus space in her home that she can use as her own private retreat. But she does need it to carry out a few other functions too. Christina and her husband Ryan have slightly different aesthetics, but Christina has full authority over this space and she wants to go bold. I'm giving her an elegant deep green on her walls and her ceiling. In a small room, a one color treatment creates a harmonious and restful mood. Painting your ceiling the same color as your wall draws the eye up, which creates the illusion of a larger room and higher ceilings. When choosing dark colors, make sure that your room has adequate natural light so that it doesn't feel too dreary. I found a gorgeous full wall mural with the bold colors that Christina loves. Selecting one wall as an accent wall is a great way to introduce the pattern without overpowering the space. Christina needs a sleep space for very occasional guests. So I found a stylish sofa that will mainly be used as a place to relax, but still transforms into a comfortable sleep space when the occasion calls for it. Now this is the space where Christina's exercise bike lives, but it's technically not a gym or exercise room. By creating this draped cocoon, the exercise bike feels like it has an intentional place. The sheer drapes allow the light to still shine through, but the thin barrier makes the bike feel put away when the room is in work mode or guest mode. Christina really wants to take on some bigger DIY projects to really make this room her own. So I'm having her create textured doors for her cabinets. These inexpensive cabinets will have a high-end finish that ties in with the luxe feel of the room. By picking accessories in the same palette as the wall mural, I had an easy guide for which colors would work within the space. Goodness, I can't believe this pile keeps getting bigger. So I guess I better start opening them. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Velvet, that's pretty sexy. Some little curtains, that's pretty. Yeah! I love this hammered look. Pillow covers. This is so soft, so pretty. Let's see, what is this? Oh my goodness, it's a desk. Oh my gosh, that rattan is so pretty. But we better wait on opening it because we have a lot of painting to do and this thing looks big.
painting is so fun. It kind of feels therapeutic, but also pretty tricky. It's just missed a couple spots. It's fine. Last night I put the couch together. I have to figure out a way to get it back to that room, but I think it's gonna look gorgeous in there. Okay, it's done. And I think it's so chic. It's got a lot of projects to do, but I'm feeling pretty confident. Hey, Christina, how's our bold upgrade coming along? It's coming along. How did you feel about the color that I selected? I love the color. It is a small room, but I don't feel like it looks smaller because of the green. What are you thinking so far about the furniture? I put together the desk, which is so pretty. I also like that kind of deeper, darker wood tone. That desk is actually one of my favorite pieces. So DIY projects, what do you want to start with? The wallpaper mural. I kind of don't know how to make sure everything stays lined up. It's so important to lay out the panels so you can see exactly how they're supposed to line up. Once you put them on the wall, you're overlapping just a tiny bit so that it's a seamless look. It still sounds daunting, but it makes sense. All right, so what's next? The cane webbing for the bookshelf doors. So the biggest thing I want you to do is stain the cane webbing before you put it on the bookcase. And then once you actually glue it down, use books to make sure that it stays flat. All right, I believe you. I know you can do it. So I'm gonna get out of your way and let you get to work. Thank you so much, Richie. I will do my very best not to mess it up. <laughs> That is heavy. That's gorgeous. It's also very clear because they tell you how to set it up. And I imagine that they had my wall measurements. I've never done this before, but you know what? You learn on the job. We're finishing up the wallpaper now. I think it's gonna look nice, but unfortunately, we did lose one panel. <laughs> but thankfully, we had more than enough. But RIP to that panel. So this is the cane webbing that she sent, and it's for the doors for the bookshelves. And obviously I'm gonna need to flatten it out with some books or something for a few days. So yeah, I'm gonna have to use this to stain it. I think it's gonna give it a richer color. These are the sticks for the edging. I'm guessing they're long because I can cut them into any measurements that I would need. Measuring, not my strong suit, but I'm gonna do my very best. We will have to paint a little trim edge. So she sent two different types of paint. One's a satin and one's a matte. And I'm not sure if I should blend them or if I just need to test them out and see which one looks better. I need to really follow Richie's instructions because I have no idea. So Richie had the great idea to use the rug pad, a larger rug pad, lay it down, put the rug on top of it, and then cut out the size of the rug pad that you need based on the size of the rug. And so that's what I'm doing right now. Shouldn't take too long. I feel like the room is really coming together. Hey, Christina, it's reveal day. You made it. <laughs> yes, we made it. I am so excited to see how this all came together. It was really fun and I was intimidated by some of them, but I think they turned out fine and I had fun doing them and I can't wait for you to see it. Whoa, this looks so good, I am so proud of you. Thank you, I am so grateful for you and your design and the vision. I never would have thought of putting all these different pieces together and I had no idea how cohesive it would look and I just absolutely love it, so thank you. You wanted to go bold and this is bold. Let's start with the wall mural. I was so nervous about it because I thought it was gonna be really involved and like hard and it couldn't have been more straightforward. The instructions were really simple and it makes such a big impact. I really love how it looks with the deep green. While it is deep, 
It has a little like brightness to it that I think looks great. And then at night it gets a little moody. I did give you a few other big DIY projects. Let's talk about those gorgeous cabinets. I did them all by myself. I love that we were able to take these basic bookshelves and make them into something really fancy. I would do it again. You've got these gorgeous cabinets on either side of the cocoon. I was nervous about the cocoon. I was like, how am I gonna work out in the cocoon? But in your great thinking, the cocoon opens. I was concerned that the cocoon would make the room feel closed off, but I think because the curtains are so sheer and flowy, it doesn't do that at all. It suddenly makes the exercise bike look like it was purposeful and meant to be in the room all along. But it's also your office too. How do you like the desk? It's really cute. Also, I think it's really functional because I was nervous that I was like, where am I gonna put all my stuff? But those fold out doors offer a lot of space. And then I think because we also have storage elsewhere, it's working out great. But I also love too that it can be a guest room. Shoot, I might be sleeping in there sometimes. One of the things I wanted to make sure of was that when you have guests that it still feels intentional. I'm glad you thought of that because I would not have. It seems like as soon as you put on those beautiful sheets and the beautiful duvet cover, the room literally transforms from an office into a guest room. Like it was always meant to be that. Once I started the projects, there was very few things that I was like, oh gosh, why am I doing this? It was always before I started that I was felt really daunted. You actually were my guiding force, so you were very intentional about the kind of space you wanted. And I just filled in the pieces and put you to work, and you did a fantastic job. This has been such a fun project. I don't want to keep you any longer because I want you to enjoy your retreat. Thank you so much, Richie. I really appreciate it. This process has inspired me to take a look around the rest of my house and figure out ways that I can incorporate more of myself and my family's personal style. I've always sort of leaned into what I thought was trendy, so I'm excited to start looking around and trying out more things.